Hi guys, how's it? It's Karabo. Uh, I hope you're good. I hope you're peachy, stellar, and in a bunch. Uh, yeah, that's what's good. 28th of September 2023. Um, and we're here. That's what's good. <sighs> okay, still using the iPhone because it's the only phone that's reliable at this point. But I'm recording during the day and the quality is better, so hallelujah, amen. Everything else we don't really care to correct, like clothes and stuff. Really, I do repeat the same vests a couple of days in a row. Everybody knows that. It happens. Guys, you know, I, I really don't know what in the world is happening. I have no clue. No clue. Or maybe I do have a clue. I woke up this morning to hear that Adele song. I'm not recording in the evening today because, yeah, it's not that hot. Anyway, you know that song, Hello from... Whoa, I'm tired. I'm so exhausted with all of this, like, random rubbish. But anyway, it's random rubbish that we're just gonna deal with until further notice. Mmm. And Adele song, Hello from the other side. Yeah, that's all I heard. Hello from the other side. Yo, are we going home, like, right now? Okay, well, I'm glad that that should happen. Uh, but I'm already sure what's going on over there. Uh, cause... You know, rapture. Whoa, guys, like the world, meh, who? Like, oh, goodness gracious, guys, witchcraft, um, of this world. Nothing is getting, is getting better. Nothing, nothing, nothing is gonna improve. Like, people have thoroughly got a naivety in them. <laughs> Imaginative of, um, the ideal that they're gonna prosper somehow in their imaginary hearts with their imaginary friends that they're gonna ex extinguish christianity um yeah well i mean all of these attempts at such a nefarious deed is that is is exactly why we're gonna go home but i don't even know when right like it would be great if it was like tomorrow because frankly i don't even care for an apartment here on earth or anything here uh hmm. everything here is just whatever you know it's like whatever you're a zombie go away eh? But I do want to leave uh, this place and I was shown that I'm going to get my own apartment. So when I keep hearing hello from the other side, I'm like, I would much rather not be encouraged in that way. You know, uh, if at all this is going to be happening in two years or three or four. Because frankly, I am not trying out here in these uneasy streets to be looking forward to no rapture tomorrow. I'm working to get out of here. So don't really know what's going on over there but the situation is is bad it's dire y'all you know like you know that things are out of hand and it's the last days when mainstream media starts to cover a, a trend in a country yeah when mainstream media starts to make itself a little bit of an investigative journalist to cover trends in a country south africa you are dead you are hollow you are not you are ash you are forgettable and so of course your mainstream media is going to be covering the practice of of ugutwana i've been watching this it's that big an issue in the country and you think i'm, I'm actually making a joke like people would like to imagine that my situation is an isolated incident yeah that i'm just this one thing sitting in a corner with like a really hard knock life because i'm any an orphan mm. and and so it's just negligible i was speaking about that literally just two days ago mm. that i'm not an isolated incident this is a bad bad issue in the country Huh, <sighs> you know, where is my other phone? Because since we have it over here, we can, I guess, start like Googling. Google, baby, Google. Yes. Mmm, you guys. Uh, yeah. Let me go into YouTube, not Google. YouTube. I just want to, like, you know. So I, f I saw a title on a YouTube video. Oh, come on, catch on to the internet, don't give me grief. I saw a title on a YouTube video by a Christian content creator in South Africa. Church reality check at Reiki. And I decided that, ah, oh, okay, let me watch it. And I did. Uh, but before I, I, I saw, I, I watched Ricky, I, um, 
get out of my way. Stop with the notifications. Don't nobody care. Like, move on. Ugh. Anyway, yeah, before I went into this, like, particular e ecosystem and environment, you guys, a uh, video proof of ancestral communication is worship. Okay, no, please, let's move elsewhere. Ugutwana on SABC. Yeah, so I saw Ricky's little title, and then after seeing Ricky's title, I decided to, like, search it on YouTube. And that's exactly what in the world under heaven became the search reality, rather. And the things that I was seeing, really, in the search results on YouTube, left a lot to be desired. And I, I'm, I was tempted to click on it, but I get so mad. I get so angry when I watch this stuff that I'm just like, you're not, let me just watch the Christian commentary. Because then maybe the, um, the heart cry will be shared. Because at this point, these people be covering this abomination and this insanity in the country like it's just another phenomenon. You know, like a weather storm in Western Cape. Except, no, it's not a phenomenon. It is the very thing that is destroying South Africa. And the world at large, really, but you're not going to talk about South Africa. Mmm, but you're covering it like it's just some weather event. Okay, right. Um, we got issues, we got problems right here. You know that there was like a very deep issue in the country. When mainstream media catches on to something that's happening, it says it's all over the show. It says it's ubiquitous. So of course we're going home. Of course God is going to give me an understanding of the rapture being nigh and at the door. Gapinaya Adele. Hello from the other side. Know what I'm saying? Mm. Of course on this is going to happen. Of all, of course. Right? Yeah. Now let me just read you some of the titles, right? Of the things that rocked up from the search engine. Um, yeah, guys. Fine, I'll give you how long ago. Uh, it is that this was a video uploaded on the tube machine so you can understand just how long this has been a problem in the country for those of you that don't understand what Uktwala is um, Ugutwala, yes let me just put the phone down for a minute to explain this practice it is basically the um, incredible incendiary dark and nefarious deed of uh, essentially carrying some ominous beastly thing thingy my bobby of occultic origin so you can get you your money when you're in need oh that moolah you're in need get down yeah you proper are out here making deals with us satan just so you can be better do you girl do you guy mm, that's what televisation is it is the act of selling your soul to the devil by bringing into your life some kind of a strange, dark, ominous, exceptionally gangster monstrosity all up in your uncomfortable grill. Basically, basically, uh, just like dying a little bit as you do such a thing as that. Mm. And the youth in this country, apparently, allegedly, are the biggest uh, takers of this marketing ploy by the kinema darkness. So as to lend them, ultimately, in the abyss, in the eternal lake of fire where the worm dieth not. And in that place, there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. Oh. Aren't you weeping and aren't you gnashing? But you're cool to weep, cool to gnash. So I guess that's what we do. We we discover that you are like a whole phenomenon apparently in the country, just like weather in the Western Cape. Now that you know what Uptwana is, allow me to just read you the titles of all of these things. If the internet does not give me grief, um, I might even actually play it. Uh, and then like interpret in my language, uh, in your language, um, language, whatever. It's a land with a witch. That's South Africa. So essentially it's a land witch. As opposed to a language mm, I will explain to you what's being said Ricky did his own little explanation on his chat session show but like go on right ahead and watch Ricky if you want to his channel is called church reality check but I'm gonna do my own because I get to do my own Christian channel that's what's good mm, but that's if the internet does not give me grief or I could just use my Mac I'll, I'll use my Mac because there there's definitely internet and today I'm not gonna be having problems with the internet um, but I do have issues with the internet on the cell phone device. So because the cell phone device is very disappointing, we'll just go on right ahead and, and, and do it on the top there. But first, let me read you titles, right? Um, a search engine uppermost, like hanging out at the top over there. Congratulations with meeting search engine optimization needs. 
SABC News. All right, is indeed this very thing, Yako yeah, SABC News. It is a 25 minute long video. And because it's 25 minutes, Ricky, of course, on his channel, did not cover all of it. Um, but I'm gonna literally cover all of it. Y'all gonna be actually in these streets hanging with me talking about this incendiary insensitivity of a demonic nature in this uncomfortable land which country. Okay, first and foremost, expressions. That is a some kind of an investigative journalism show in the country that's been going around rolling these streets for a minute mainstream media uh, and it's it expressions landed on sabc news okay so frankly it made one of the biggest news networks in the country so yeah, it's like covering the elections it's that big it's that much of a national chaotic issue people are doing these streets on some uh, uh there ain't no devil i'm sorry devil be out roaming in these land which streets to a point where the media be covering his dalliances bouncing up and down with you having a little love affair when not all twizzing expressions ugutwala a shortcut to success let us say that again lest my diction should not be picked up by my silence detection or even your ears that are itching that are gathering for yourself a strange little teacher to teach you what they want to hear but i'm here to put a reality check all up in your grills just like ricky that's what's good expressions ugutwala that strange practice that's the zulu word for it a shortcut to success thank you i hope the diction came out over there a shortcut to success mm, as if though that's a thing and the proverbs it is written my son my son like stay away from ill-gotten gain but people don't want to do nothing of that nature don't nobody want to do nothing of that nature okay cool a shortcut to success the next one and this was a uh, uh, one day ago it's as recent as one day ago so it's the most recent um lee uploaded on youtube and so therefore most recently covered story of this nature in the country the kutwala a shortcut to success that's the first one. Second one young girls lives are being ruined by the so-called ukutwala tradition that was covered by SABC Live, my goodness, aren't they obsessed at SABC with this twala ring thing? So it turns out this is a big enough issue for the one of the main news networks in the country to cover it. One of the main ones. I mean, imagine being in America and like Fox News or CNN is always just talking about witchcraft in America. Rarely ever do you hear that, do you know? But in South Africa, it's such a big issue that SABC News, which is, like I said, one of our main, one of our biggest and baddest, biggest news networks is covering this like over and over again they just can't stop doing it so young girls lives are being ruined by the so-called uktwala tradition 12 days ago 12 days ago so the uppermost one was just one day ago and then the next one in the search engine is 12 days ago Grenshap, I shouldn't even say on SABC. Okay, I put on SABC. Maybe if I had not taken out, the, if I had taken out the on SABC, Uktwala on SABC. Oh no, oh, me and the internet. Ah, see, that's what tolerization does. It messes with the sister internet. Like, right, stop, Muktagata Zinjandin. I'm on to you. Anyway, whatever, right? Oh, so the one you call SABC. I will first Uktwala on SABC give you the search results for that particular keyword search then i will just say ugutwala and, and tell you what in the world is popping up uppermost it okay? so the first one and it's sitting on forty-eight thousand views so far uh and was uploaded one day ago it's from sabc news a shortcut to success the next one is young girls lives are being ruined by the so-called ugutwala tradition all right the third one which was done one year ago ugutwala young girls in kz and rural areas are being abducted raped under prayer i don't know what the rest of that title is because it's been shortcut on my little mobile youtube um uh space over here mm, you guys so that's like a whole thing you my bobby oh i've been speaking for 15 minutes let's just move on to the next part so all of y'all that thoroughly want to like accuse me of accusing you of doing strange that you have of doing strange things that you have not done you want to come and deny that ni twele even sabc knows what ni twele guys agna munto sa oh oh that's not suspecting demonic worship inclining in the country i'm not in an isolated case i can't say that enough anyway so let's move on one year ago twala young girls in kz and rural i told you there's like a real big fat chunky issue uh their whole little cousin yabana but the wing Hey, it's a little thing. Yeah, I do apologize. Let me go back to English. All right. So a year ago was 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 this um one video that only got three thousand four hundred views because people are literally trying to ignore something that important. And it was done a year ago. It's a little two minute snippet, a three minute snippet. 
No, how long is it? Doesn't really matter. I, at this point, I don't care. Five minutes, yeah. Uh, the next one was six years ago. So this has been an issue. I have been persecuted for a good, like, almost decade now. 2014 was the commencement of my sorrow. And the thing that commenced me in the sorrow was God hiding me, basically. In order that I might survive a nation, it's in full of people that have twilight, that have carried a demon to give them success or whatever. Mm. However, my burial underneath the grounds of South Africa, this land of witches, this like land witch that is full of 11 official land witches, um, 11 official land witches, in other words, 11 official people in every tribe, color, kindred of this country, that's what's good. Baloya, they're just all witches, like Afrikaans witches, I, I met a couple of those in my former Baptist church, Zulu, Venda, Tswana, witches, they're all over, so frankly, South Africa, your 11 official languages is more like 11 official land witches anyway whatever so in this land of witches six years ago was when this particular article was uploaded on one of this land witches channels and news networks like sabc been all up in this story for a minute okay uh, and i've been in persecution for almost a decade so when i say i got land witches all up in my girl abatuele that have put me in a position to suffer but you know it's a strong delusion by jesus christ because i'm not already truly under any spell because i'm a christian there are nonetheless people like me who aren't in Christ however that are suffering the way that I'm suffering unable to do anything at all despite being severely talented gifted in the worst way but unable to move left or right because of land witches abatuele this thing was done six years ago evidencing that this has been a problem in the country look at us now being all gray listed look at us now being junk status according to uh, uh, poor king moody's ratings agencies essentially look at us now today being this lackluster gender-based violence random land witch country that we've been rolling around in for the past like forever in a day look at it doing a strange thing frankly at the expense of Carabo, I apologize, I'm going back to English, I don't want to lose my English viewers. That's what's good. You literally have swallowed demons to bring into your camp all different kinds of prosperity at the expense of like Carabos in this world. Hmm. Six years ago, this was covered in the, sir, and the name of it is Fundin Zimande on the practice of Uktwala in SA. Hmm. Okay, Fundi. And then one done 11 years ago. So I've been suffering for how long, you guys? So I was still working in corporate South Africa at this particular point. Nine years. So two years before losing absolutely everything, they are actually publishing this random stuff. And this is the one that caught my attention the biggest and the baddest. And it only got like 173 views because South Africans are thoroughly trying to act like it's not a thing. And it's SABC News again uploaded on its channel. A call. Listen to this. Like, this is like... Probably Properly before I lost my job, there was already sorrow in the streets on some no, this needs to stop. And then Garaba lost everything because it never went through. It never succeeded. All the way at the layer of Uhulumende, all the way at the layer of government. This happened. Mamelan guys, this is the stepping. Okay? A call for the banning of the traditional practice of uk twala. Did you hear that? A call for the uh, for the banning of the traditional practice of Uktwala, this was something that was done in the country, governmentally, on a national scale, 11 years ago before I lost everything, but of course it fell through the cracks. Otherwise, if it did not fall through the cracks, I wouldn't have lost a job, a whole bunch of people wouldn't have lost a job, the economy of the country would not be where it's at, so this was ignored. Likely what happened was an uproar by a whole bunch of amasango, my level satani, being like, I still am seven way to learn that Tina Sifinimali, Sifunugan Zimali, Nifunugus Tatala Matlayanti. That basically means, oh no, this is our practice, we want money, you want to take away our clienti. And so, because they respect them more than they respect God, South Africa was like, okay, we tried, guys, but no, it didn't work. And then Garabo lost an entire career, like uh, just two years later. Mm. I actually want to um, listen to this, eh? I, I, yeah, give it away. of Okutwala has attracted criticism from many people. Okay, I want, I'm going to, to play this video, ne? On YouTube. It's only one minute long, so it's worth a while to play it. The other one, get 25 minutes. The other one, get 25 minutes, and I'm going to share it. So herein lies what this lady is saying. You don't have to hear it audibly, because I'm going to interpret. Listen. practice of Okutwala has attracted criticism from many people as they believe 
believe it forms part of human rights abuses. For that reason... Hallelujah. Did you hear that? The practice of Uktuala. So you might not have heard that even though it's in English. Um, they are calling for its banning because a lot of people believe that it uh, constitutes the abuse of human rights. I've been saying this for how long? Witchcraft, Nukta, all this stuff is a human rights abuse. Why? Because in South Africa, people have got a right to life in the Bill of Rights. In South Africa, you've also got a right to make a living. So you have basically trenched in law and statute a right to study in university, go out and grab your dreams because ain't nobody out here in these streets trying to live in a country with such severe unemployment. And Uktuala, that causes people to just steal people's jobs, careers, and all that jazz. Mm, steal people's uh, wombs, steal people's right to life, uh, the sacrifice of children, and all that jazz. Mm, yeah, no. It, 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 it entirely infringes on such human rights as these. And this is something that was raised even before I suffered from such an issue. Even before I raised these problems. But it only got a good, like, 173 views on YouTube. And it was done 11 years ago. And it was, of course, abandoned at the door. Because if it wasn't, I wouldn't be in this position. So, let's keep on listening. The ANC has finally taken a strong position. The ANC has finally taken a strong position on it. That would be the leading party in this country. Set the choice and they can't be just taken and given to certain men that they don't want so conference basically women must be given a choice and they can't just be given to certain men when they don't want uh all of this rape culture already it was raised some years ago but ain't nobody out there in history is trying to listen okay this practice must be outlawed abolished the party has this practice must be outlawed abolished this was during the time of jacob jacob zuma's presidency it was before um maposa okay on the other hand recommended a more radical change that should be implemented to address the scourge of poverty we have agreed that uh, there must be an anti-poverty strategy that must be so essentially instead of trying to get out of poverty um there's gotta be stop tolerating there's gotta be some other way that y'all can like you know eradicate and stuff like that in, uh, intensified there must be a white paper that must take into account all initiatives to date and make sure that there's decisive interventions dealing with poverty the delegates also yeah they're saying some other stuff needs to be basically put in place in order to make sure that poverty is not like such a big issue type setup thing like anything but all of this traditional random stuff Amended government, particularly the Department of Arts and Culture, for taking a decision to host a conference next month at issues of social cohesion. It was so full. Uh, this this like particular thing it was so full of these government people anyway whatever so that's the one that i listened to uh with you guys right now this was 11 years ago the next one is uktwala in the eastern cape amanda van der Veer Stazen, 882 views eight years ago the next one um roland angera on child marriages uktwala man gets 22 years for uktwala the other one was eight years ago the, this one is nine years ago Final verdict, okay, Uktwala, blah, blah. All right, let me let me go on and Google Uktwala just on its own. Uktwala, just on its own, without putting in S-A-B-C. I need to pee. Goodness, how many times can a girl pee in a day? Like, oh, goodness gracious. What? And then there are shorts that are popping up. Uh, and there's a short here with a dude that has, like, a whole snake around his body. We are not even going to, like, look at that short. But, again, uppermost is this very uh, show on expressions that I'm going to watch with you guys. Uktwala evolves like technology gokumbata. I mean, imagine that. Uh, that was il, uh, one month ago, seven months ago. Ngatwala nge bozela eli pefumelayo emabuto. Yo, 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 yo. This is from that channel called African Confessions, all right? I'm going to go and interpret that. That was seven months ago when this was uploaded by a regular South African YouTube channel that shares such stories of this nature. So it's not a news network. Um, and I listen to this channel a lot. And the name of the the, 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 the title of this particular video is Ngi Twala Nge Bozela Eli Pefumelayo Emabuto. I am basically carrying the weight of a demon using a bottle that breathes. A bottle that breathes in Maputo. Maputo is 
a, a city, a, a city. It's a city, right? Maputo is definitely a city. In where? In Namibia? I stand corrected. Really, my geography is not that great. So if you want to come Disney for that, do you? So I am carrying a bottle that breathes. And that's what gives me money. Okay, very well. A snake that vomits money ritual snake confessions. A covenant with a snake. This was three months ago. My father was a ritualist. Eh, man. My father was a ritualist and he gave me a snake that vomits money. Whatever. I went to Mozambique to get juju for my taxi business. This was seven months ago. Um. Oh, shame. She passed away. Sorry. Let's move on from that. Uh. As in, I mean, I'm gonna say it anyway. Spams. I did money ritual with my spams and period blood. Anyway, spams. I, yeah, that basically means I twallowed with sperm and period blood. That was seven months ago. My Nigerian blesser is a ritualist. He has money making snake. South African. This is all in South Africa. Okay. My Nigerian blesser is a ritualist. He has a money making snake. I use Togoloshi for my tracking business Facebook confession. Also South Africa. Uh, this was six months ago. Uh, episode one. Uktwala gone wrong. I got a snake in Zimbabwe and did it. Uh, this was three months ago. Uh, another one. Two chickens to make my husband's side chick go mad. This was six months ago. Okay. There's going to be a speech lag over there. I told you my iPhone gives me problems when I'm recording. However, nonetheless, you can see me. That's all that matters. And you can also hear me. The next one. Is Uktwala Gune Gune Migomo Ejulile Ugukona? Okay, I don't even know what that means. We're just gonna move on. This is Zulu, not my primary language. Uktwala Genyoka properly got yet a year ago. Uktwala Genyoka probably so basically, some little Sangoma is advising how to properly carry a snake to make money for you. Uh, so basically, all y'all be doing it wrong, do it this way, then you're gonna be fan. Except there's hell to pay. All right, Pindi Legwala's sister Belinda's chicken video gets one million views. Okay, that's not about Uktwala. It's like, okay, so now it stopped giving me titles about Twilarization. Oh, except not really. How I joined prostitution and Ukutwala five months ago. Some chicks, um, confession here on, on face on YouTube that she, um, and then this one is done three months ago where this woman is like, I lost my three children in one day. Uktwala gone wrong. Y'all know what Uktwala is, so I'm going to stop interpreting. Uh, that was English. I'm a witch. Listen to my story. Okay. That, um, yeah. Ukt yeah. Ukt the secrets of Uktwala. I did a money ritual to the queen of the sea, but I lost everything. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Let me just do two more types thing. I maintained my wealth by sleeping with a black mamba. Okay, that was four months ago. This is this, these are the things that are happening out in these African streets, and you think people are gonna go la e empilweni and uh, what do you call this? And and and, and uh, what is this? Uh, what do I want to say? And claim that I'm like <laughs> paranoid, like girl, ain't nobody a witch, or not not everybody's a witch. I'm sorry, like I got friends and family members who do this that that put me in a position to suffer like this and never mind that right um random strangers on the streets and random strangers as well that are busy with other people and it's like a whole epidemic in the country it is chaotic dark powers ritual snake black magic money three months ago i did an instant cash wallet ritual in botswana Uktwala ngama boys. Ooh, gabang, ngama boys. Abo wa boys bagabani. That means twala, like twala ring with boys. So whose son are you actually using to twala? Uktwala, saka isicha with prophet whatever, shut up. Uktwala ngenyoka gune migomo enzima. Okay, look, I don't know what emigomo is, but I do know that ngenyoka is a snake. And some the enzima is like heavy, something heavy. Right, oh, cool. I got a tokoloshi from Maputo Mzansi Confessions. Okay, we're going to be done with all of these titles. You have have basically Uktwala Ngomieniwa Shame. This is Tutwala with the husband. I'm done reading these titles. These people are doing such things as these. Alright. Let me go use the bathroom because I'm kind of pressed at the present at the present moment. And then we're gonna go and right ahead and watch expressions together. Except we're not gonna watch it. You're gonna be hearing it as I am uh, pretty much interpreting what's going on there on YouTube so you can understand the depth of these rituals. When I was watching this on Ricky's channel uh, on YouTube last night, I actually cried. 
because I am so angry and I'm so frustrated and I feel as if though who is getting help against all of this insanity and why aren't people seeing that this is demonic and why aren't they fearing hell because now they're discovering that spiritual realities of this nature exist so therefore there must be a God why isn't it why is it not turning you off just by mere virtue of it being true and why is it not making you scared that there might be somebody who might actually fix the issue later why aren't people waking up to realize that this is real so therefore God must also be real catches me off guard that particular question don't really know how to answer it let me go use the bathroom do me along over there we're back from the bathroom and i apologize for a speech lag if there is one last night i had a dream of some trying to convince me to be with him by lying etc not the guy from america yet another random itwele that thinks that he can attempt and try with me since the american guy failed um doing rituals first before you can shell out a woman you don't even slide into the dms you first do a ritual so you can increase your prospects of succeeding in pursuing a woman that's how guys are asking women out in South Africa. They they can't just buy a shell. Ikwa babayabo sends them to Ugutwana. And I'm like, okay, do you? Alrighty, so I'm gonna help you understand Uguti men like the ones that I just dreamt about last night with the sexual perversion all up in my grill experimenting with new spells on a woman that's already quite inebriated with sorrow from some other pervert in America and so many others. Um, here in last the thing that's making these people feel like ba bastrongo when their failures are like no man's business. Skip ad, it's okay. So I play everything in 1.5, long story short, um, very fast because I can't be in normal time on YouTube. I'm a busy woman, so they're going to be speaking quite fast, but I'm going to be interpreting in, I guess, regular time for those of you who care to listen to me at regular time. This is the beginning of expressions. Um, I'm just going to move on to like the beginning. <laughs> I saw there that you wrote on Facebook. So essentially the show starts. Like we're going to interpret this whole thing. We're going to chill here and watch this thing. But I'm going to be the one to narrate it for you. Yeah, so just like, you know, picture it in your mind type thing. So there is a woman. It starts with like a woman chilling on a couch, etc. Saying, I'm watching this for the first time with you guys. Okay. So uh, yeah, the one that I watched on Ricky's show was a shortcut version. Uh, so we're doing this together for the first time. It's a reaction video full of an interpretation. That's today's work. Amen no need to be talking about incendiary dreams that I can't stand let's talk about this so it starts with a woman on a couch putting a man on speakerphone on some dude I saw on Facebook an article that you uploaded saying that you have twilight I've already explained what twilight is guys so please go it's like basically using demonic entities to gain wealth so she's calling somebody on speakerphone as she has agreed with the show expressions to expose a brother or a sister i don't know some dude that she's she's talking to on um on the phone and she's basically saying i saw that you twilight on facebook so he put a post on facebook and then she's like oh dude how are you gonna go and expose this on facebook and the sad thing about it is these people are also this bold with it too my cousin for instance uh got a whole bunch of prosperity from Muktwala and then it recruited her younger sister by showing her all the money that she made and the younger sister was like okay i'll do it too shame now she's gonna die <laughs> What is it that you are tolerating to get 7,000 rands? Okay, he was an audible, so I can't really tell you. So she's expl he's explaining to her what it is that he does in order to get that 7,000 rands. This woman then replies by saying, so what then must I do? How long will it take, sorry, for me to finally start to see results after I twasa? Not twasa, but twala. Twasa is another practice altogether. It is being initiated as, as a sangoma. After three weeks, she's being told that three after three weeks, that's when this is going to happen. I'm not going to do very much of my own interpretation. I'm just going to be interpreting their language, what they're saying, and then at the end, maybe we'll talk about this. There's a woman here crying, saying that she was forced into a life she was she never asked for. She's speaking in English, but I don't know how audible it is. Um, so I'm uh, saying anyway. I'm speaking anyway. This woman is saying, I once dated a, um, no, she's like, 
Niputi or Twila. So she's basically saying that her friend, a man that had Twila, a man that had done this practice, fell in love with her. Ish, I, I struggle not to comment, but that, that's just what's been happening with me as well. When men that are carrying heavy demonic um, oppression are interested in you, you're basically kind of screwed. And in South Africa, they're all over where it could be your colleague, it could be anybody, and he's carrying something heavy, and if you don't um, agree to be his girl, he will make it happen. If you do agree to be his girl, despite having agreed, he will still keep you around using this stuff. <laughs> She's saying that when she was sitting on the couch, it felt like there was something very cold when she was in the room with him that was walking around in the room, um, but they couldn't gauge what it was. This guy was told not to use a body lotion or roll on in order for his practice of Uktwala to prosper to do what it does. Then when we got back the next day, I was given the clay pot and I was told not to open it until I go home. Then the next day he was given a clay pot um, after going to the Sangoma and he was told not to open it until he got home. And I woke up in the morning, I woke up and I opened the clay pot and there was money there. And then he woke up in the morning and he opened the clay pot and there was money in it. It was filled with money. My aunties though were a problem, uh, but when you have money, people will respect you regardless of your flaws. And... Exactly what I've been saying and he's like, that's just the problem. I never used to have money and then I got money and when you have money, people will always suspect you of being involved in this stuff. It's what I keep talking about. In yesterday's series, I, I said that. These people suddenly just happen into money. They happen into prosperity in a way that is unexplainable because yesterday, so they get exposed. They get exposed. And that's the thing that basically caused this guy to walk away from this because he doesn't want to be associated with that. And he says that the more that he spent the money, the more the money appeared. I bought myself a car and had endless girlfriends fighting over me. Even with my aunt. Said he bought himself a car, had endless girlfriends. <laughs> Okay, I, I think you heard that. She's like, oh, if you are of expressions, it really is true that we really do need money to live. This is now the host, okay? Uh, this thing called life. Everyone wants to be rich and wealthy. I can't for you money at some point, but no one sees the need to be patient and work. Uh, Thank you very much. Uh, in fact, you know what? I, I, I don't want to make it on 1.5 speed to just rush through it. Uh, she says that, yes, there's nobody that does not need money to live, but guys, there's, there's, there's no point in trying to rush your way through to get there. Work hard for their accomplishments, hence Work hard for your accomplishment, uh, accomplishments And this is the thing that really kind of eats away at me Because oh, uh, truly hardworking people are struggling to get ahead Because people batwele are stealing things from them They're doing rituals on them, making hard work worthless There was a time when working hard actually p produced fruit in the life of a person Now it doesn't matter What's up in the name of Christ is cranky. Now it doesn't matter, look at my life for instance I am uh, basically slaving right now in order to get even the smallest amount of traction in my life because of Abantaba Twele continuously bewitching my content so I go nowhere my job was stolen from right underneath my feet right the carpet pulled uh, I'm being told if you want to get ahead Hambuyans are the same thing why must a person partake in demonic rituals in order to do a basic thing that God told the human race to do work by the sweat of your brow go out there and occupy until i return when people are trying to occupy and work by the sweat of their brow there are people that are making sure they earn no salary and so working in the millennial reign jesus christ is going to establish a righteous reign where no more are you going to labor and not be able to eat the fruit of your labor that's never going to happen again Uktwala makes sure that people labor and they get nothing for it do you see the injustice over there? Do you see what these people are doing? They're destroying a country. They're increasing unemployment rates of the nation. They are destroying our gross domestic product. Our economic viability as a nation is being withered away at by this practice because they are literally laying waste and reducing to hollow naught and ash. Entire thriving economic beings belonging to the country that could aid the growth of the economy, but they're not able to do that because of spiritual manipulation by a select few in the country. Making the quickest way to have money, which is Simona Indoyoktwala. As we celebrate Heritage Month, we look at... She's saying uh, these are the people that think it's the quickest way to make money. Um, and we're about to celebrate Heritage Month. 
the way the dark ways in which they are trying to get money we're going to be exposing that on the show today okay she's just basically telling her name and the guy is also introducing himself expressions of all today we're exploring the practice that is popularized by young people now more than ever young people are consulting sangomas who use the power can you guys hear that i feel like you can hear it why do i have to keep on repeating it he's basically saying that young people are practicing as ama sangoma maybe if i attach my speaker um to this then you'll be able to hear the english parts and i don't have to interpret it how's that let me let me save this and then come back with my speaker what's up we're back um darkness not knowing what they are getting themselves into now as in Goboy expressions we caught up with a young woman who shared her painful experience all right yeah he's just basically speaking about some chick that i don't need to share this anymore i feel like the speaker's loud enough the guy's so cute <laughs> okay uh so basically here he's saying that um i'm sick uh, apparently allegedly i am being held hostage by an ancestor so so i went to alexander a township just as soon as you set foot in that place then you see the uh, the ominous energy of that woman you pick up her energy her presence she comes in with like some kind of a, a creature that is going to basically lead you into the premises of this mama that's doing this ritual some man is being interviewed this woman's ancestor uh basically led this guy or woman to this mama i'm scared that this is going to give me co uh, copyright issues but not if i keep on interrupting in the center yeah this channel does allow for stitching so it's cool okay so basically this guy is saying that uh he tried everything um to make money uh, uh took out investments and everything but nothing was working so that's why he went to this woman and then because of this she she emptied all of her investments and then went to this woman and then the um news presenter is asking him how much did he pay yeah. Uh, the, they told him that because he's got four ancestors that he has got to take out 40,000 rands that's she again working my name and get 24,000 it's a woman uh yeah her voice has been muted made to sound like that of a man i'm looking at her nails now but she only gave them 25,000 <laughs> the first week after giving them twenty five thousand, they saw they gave her like a big snake yeah so guys twenty five thousand rands do you see why this is lucrative do you see why zango must do this and do you see uh, if at all this woman is prepared to part ways with twenty five thousand rands what is she imagining she's gonna get back in return likely a hundred thousand two hundred thousand four hundred thousand it's apparently an investment so that's why some of the biggest and baddest people in the country are doing this that's why entire um members of parliament ceos of companies your bosses entrepreneurs like millionaires that's why they're into this because it's it's literally the most worthwhile investment to them for their future so when i say even middle class people are involved in this stuff my family members upper middle manager upper middle class going all the way into the wealthy understand it's true it's not just the poor it's not a poor man's sport only oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> 
ukuthi ambelani diabe na yo ya bona so but and it and fike ya ndishiya ya she's walking with a snake hey the things these people do and she's trying uh, as the snake is crawling on the floor to catch up with it but she is walking in the middle of town with a snake leading the way likely it is invisible only she can see it and she's saying that it's walking or crawling so fast that she can't catch up with it <laughs> day of the ritual when they give her a snake <laughs> she's walking behind it so basically when she then tried to do spells um use her own meaty and whatnot uh she couldn't do it and then the same sango must you went to told her hi whatever we don't want you here because you can't do this stuff so essentially the ritual rejected her and six months uh, your six months ago, you don't talk all again. You can see that sometimes in the thing, but two men who think this is a lion thing, I'm a weekend, you're yik and telling Jen, you're yik. She's like, this happened for six months and she was always scared and sometimes they would summon her to come back to the house to, uh, where the ritual was done and she was always scared. <laughs> Uh, because there was like a shadow, his tunes, he's some ghost, something strange and scary. Mm. And she says that this little uh, ghostly thing that was all up in her environment after that whole thing happened, she could feel it crawling on her, on her neck, uh, something daga, something dirty was crawling on her and she didn't understand what it was, but it was all up in her grill. Uh, she's like at night this thing would be all up in our grill plus there was two of us uh the amatwasani amatwasani are people who are being initiated into sangomerizationing people that are being initiated into being wish doctors and then it feels like they, she could feel like something was scratching her at night and then her hairs would get all raised and stuff like you know a tuning fork being hit on the floor in the room mm. and she could feel something holding her and as she's busy like you know trying to sleep it's like all up in her girl trying to scratch her mm. 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 Yeah. 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 Yo, so this is the side this lady this uh, con uh presenter's asking so basically what you're saying is that when you were busy being initiated where you were going they did not initiate you they rather twa uh, made you carry so there is a difference between uktwasa and uktwala uktwasa is to basically being initiated into becoming a sangoma and uktwala is a lay jane and a lay joe on the street that doesn't have a calling but is greedy that wants to make money that then goes to a sangoma to carry a snake or something in order for them to make money and she was supposed to be initiated as a sangoma but instead of being initiated she was rather um what is this twilight she was made to just carry a snake and not so much go through the whole ritual of sangomas of sangomarizationing yeah. she's like oh yeah exactly she's like yes i went to this place where i was supposed to go and become a sangoma but instead you gave me a digoloshi <laughs> i like to say that digoloshi is a south african alien ver versions of aliens we've uh, we've seen our own aliens out here in these streets it's these small little zombies these tiny little men that sangomas are always walking around with uh, uh, like unidentified aerial phenomenon but instead of them being aerial they're terrestrial they're small little midgets they're dwarfs yes that's what's good and so instead of giving her um responding instead of twasa instead of helping her become a sangoma they rather gave her a digoloshi <laughs> a little alien <laughs> and then when she was dealing with this digoloshi she was like you're dead there's nothing you're gonna do for me and then she told the the, the, the digoloshi because they believe that digoloshis are ancestors inside the dwarfish bodies she tells this digoloshi oh there's nothing you're gonna do for me you're dead and what i'm gonna do is kill you because you didn't die properly the first time <laughs> so she was threatening what they gave her 
the thing they qualified her with she was threatening to kill it since it didn't die properly the first time because they believe it's ancestors instead of fallen angels <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> she says that after she threatened to kill it, Yam Huicha, that means it beat her up. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the things you guys do. <laughs> Oh my oh bang hui chile guys the the the, the tikoloji beat her up and there are so many testimonies of sangomas archer in these streets that claim the same thing that they did not obey a tikoloji or a fallen angel they did not obey a fallen angel and then the fallen angel beat them up because that's what they are they're fallen angels disembodied spirits of the nephilim those are demons the sp the ghosts are demons However, if they've got a body, it's a fallen angel. It's an angel that fell. However, it's lower order. So Tigoloshis, I believe, are lower order angels that take on the bodies of these tiny little menacing beasts. And she tried to rebuke it and told it that she's going to kill it. Kill it. That's what's good. Um, and then after basically telling a, a, a Tigoloshi or a little dwarf, a tiny little fallen angel, that she's going to kill it, this fallen angel then beat her up. And guys, where is this in the Bible? Come on. Like, y'all need to read the scriptures, okay? You are so deceived. You are gathering for yourself a great number of teachers to teach you what your itching ears want to hear. That you might, you much rather believe uh, ancestral worship theology instead of Bible theology. Like the seven sons of Skiva, uh, guys. This is exactly what's going on here. You know how with the seven sons of Skiva they try to cast out demons. But they were not known. But what did the seven sons of Skiva uh, do? Try to cast them out. And then these demons told them, Jesus we know, Peter we know, but who are you? And then in, in trying to cast out demons, since they were not recognized by them, and so they did not therefore have the authority of Jesus Christ to cast out demons, because only we have authority as Christians, they rather beat them up. Like, go read the story in the Bible of the seven sons of Skiva. They were beaten to a pulp and cast out of the environment by the demons they tried to extract out of an ecosystem. So when you are, when you don't have the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ and you try to wrestle fallen entities, they beat you up. So all y'all have been, 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 been given a buttock whooping by, by, by Digoloshis in black culture. Go on right ahead and find that in the Bible. You are the seven sons of Skiva. Meaning you don't have the spirit of God. Meaning you're not operating in an authority that can actually handle these things. Meaning they're gonna literally handle you for trying to handle them. So she dissed at Digoloshi, telling it, I'm gonna kill you since you are an ancestor. She went on right ahead and imagined that a fallen angel was an ancestor. And since she thinks it's an ancestor, she says that I'm gonna kill you since you didn't die properly the first time uh, because she was disinterested in taking a, uh, a Digoloshi instead of her rather her, what is this being twasified instead of rather becoming a Sangoma, they just bum twelly seal. They just gave her a Digoloshi and she was like, I'm gonna kill you, you're not gonna do anything for me, you already did. And then they beat her up, <laughs> they beat her up. Seven sons of Skiva. Bible prophecy all up in your grill. The scriptures are the only way out. Jesus is the only way out. In his name only do, do you have authority against such beings. Okay, so she says that then somebody, because she was busy being beaten up by a Digoloshi, by, she was uh, essentially one of the seven sons of Skiva at this point, uh, somebody overheard her, and then I think her mom or whatever overheard her, and then went and buzzed and buzzed and buzzed at her door, and because of the buzzing at the door, these entities then stopped afflicting her because they can't just uh, operate and do whatever they want to do in an environment you guys they can't just do that uh, when people are not summoning them when you have not opened a portal when in and of yourself you're not dabbling they can't just afflict you they can't just harass you they only harass those who open themselves up to it so the person who was knocking on the door likely was somebody that had an i guess authority to be able to walk in as a human being made in the image of god and have these things therefore walk away from that presence because they can't just manifest themselves in the presence of anyone you gotta open a door and so they fled and then only was she able to go to the door to open it uh for her mom who rescued her from being beaten up by a digoloshi 
She see, and we are born, and born. And she's saying that this thing you see it, I, and then she corrects herself and says, "I could see it. I could see it." So, like I said, you gotta open your own eyes up to this stuff. Then you see it. You're the one that pierces through the metaphysical realm into the cosmos to see these things. To see them Everybody else however I was born You're Just like the snake That was walking in front of her in town But nobody else saw it And she couldn't catch up with it Now that Digoloshi Only she could see them So essentially these people Bring into their own lives A, a whole entire haunting they, they let They make themselves get haunted They crawl up walls Nobody understands what's going on They get dragged Yanked Pulled Like Emily Rose With the uh, position They they get pulled it's physically, Like you can see metal, Like physically That something is being done to them They're getting beaten You see actual bruises That appear on their bodies But you don't see what's putting those bruises on their bodies however they see it and so it becomes literally just an oh and a unique haunting that is why you must not dabble with these things let me save and move to the next part